In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Microsoft 365 F range of licenses. Have you heard of them? No, not many people have. But by the end of this video, you'll be able to see if the F range is suitable for your business. But before we start, just a quick intro. My name is Jonathan, and I've got a business called Integral IT. We help businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365 and their cybersecurity. Now, you may or may not have noticed that there are lots of different Microsoft 365 products. It can all get pretty confusing. But actually, there is some method in the madness. You've got the standard Microsoft 365 business products. So things like Business Basic, Business Standard, and Business Premium. These three products are aimed at the small business market. Then you've got the Microsoft 365 E range of licensing. Now the E actually stands for something. It stands for enterprise. These licenses are aimed at enterprise customers and Microsoft say that an enterprise customer has more than 300 users. But there is another set of Microsoft 365 licensing called the F range. Now the F stands for frontline. So what is the F range? How much does the F range cost? Could the F range benefit your business? Well, let's talk a little bit more about the F range. So let's consider some people in your business who don't have a desk or don't necessarily have a computer, but they still need to communicate with you and they still need to access your data and your Microsoft 365. Now let's look at a real world example of this. We look after a care company. So they've got a head office with 25 people. And those 25 people all have a desk and all have a computer. So those 25 people have a Microsoft 365 business premium license. But this company also has 75 carers who are all remote. They're going into the homes of the elderly and caring for their needs. Now these carers obviously don't have a desk and they don't even have a computer. They have no company owned devices. Instead, they use their own personal smartphones. And on their smartphones, they install Outlook, they install Teams, and they install SharePoint so they can communicate with the head office. Now, most businesses with the same setup usually make a fatal mistake here. They would give the carers a Microsoft 365 Business Basic license. Now, Business Basic includes email, it includes Teams, it includes SharePoint seemingly everything they need. Crucially, Business Basic doesn't include any security. And when people are using their own personal smartphones, security is what you need. Now, I've obviously used one of our own customers as an example here in the care sector, but it could apply to so many other sectors. Hospitality, hotels, restaurants, people who are working for the business but don't have a desk and don't have a computer. Now, drum roll please, step forward the Microsoft 365 F range. Now the Microsoft 365 F range comes in two different flavors. You've got the Microsoft 365 F1, not to be confused with Formula One, and you've got the Microsoft 365 F3. So let's take a closer look at both these products. So let's first look at pricing. The Microsoft 365 F1 range costs £1.85 per license per month, which is much cheaper than the Business Basic license. But the Microsoft 365 F3 product is £6.60 per license per month, which is actually slightly more expensive than the Business Basic license. Now, there's a big gap in these prices. So what are the key differences in functionality. Firstly, let's talk about Microsoft Teams. Both the F1 and the F3 products both include Microsoft Teams. So if you want to design your business communications around Microsoft Teams, then you could easily use an F1 license. Then you've got Microsoft Bookings. So again, F1 and F3 both include Microsoft Bookings. You could do something clever with Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Bookings and completely replace email altogether. Then you could just use the F1 license. So continuing with the similarities, what about SharePoint and OneDrive? 
With both F1 and F3, you do get access to SharePoint and OneDrive, and you get two gig of OneDrive space. But what about email? Email is such a key communication tool, and that is the first big difference between F1 and F3. With F1, you don't get a mailbox. With F3, you do get a mailbox, but it's a much smaller one. You get a two gig mailbox. Whereas with Business Basic or Business Standard, you get a 50 gig mailbox. But two gig still isn't a small mailbox, so it might be okay. But as I said earlier, you might want to redesign your business communications more around Microsoft Teams. Now, what about Microsoft Office? With both F1 and F3, you can't install Microsoft Office applications on a desktop computer, but you can use Office over the web. Now with F1, this is just read only. So you can open Office over the web and you can view Excel and Word documents, but you can't create new ones and you can't change existing ones. Whereas with F3, you get a fully functional office over the web. So you can create new Word documents, create new PowerPoint documents, do whatever you need to do. So there is the nitty gritty collaboration features. But at the start of this video, I did talk about security. So let's talk about what security features the F range of products have that the business basics just don't. Now the Microsoft 365 F range has two key security features that the Business Basic license just doesn't have. These are app protection policies and conditional access. So what are they? With app protection policies, you can manage the company applications and your company data on personal smartphones. You can pretty much dictate how people use your data and use your applications even when they're using devices that don't belong to you. So this makes that a great feature for people who are out and about just using personal smartphones. And you also get something called conditional access policies. Now conditional access policies are a little bit like a security guard stood on the door of a nightclub. You might not get into that nightclub. Maybe you're too drunk. Maybe you're wearing the wrong clothes. Both of these would be conditions of access to that nightclub. Now you can do the same in Microsoft 365. You can say that people can't access your data unless they've got multi-factor authentication enabled or they've got to be using a compliant device. This is conditional access policies and it's a great feature for the security of your organization. So there is the F range of Microsoft 365. Now, if anyone in your business is using Microsoft 365 Business Basic, step back, have a look, and see if an F license might be a better fit. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you again soon.